Hello everyone, very good morning and thank you very much for your immense love and support. In today's session, we are going to learn about checkpoint group. But before that, I would politely request to you, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do like and subscribe. It improves my confidence it uh, encourage me to create more videos like this and help you to grow your knowledge. Let's start. What's the checkpoint group? So checkpoint group is nothing but it's a technology or we can tell it's a tool to capture the log activate the breakpoint and use assertion for a particular set of user or a particular period of time. So the main point with the checkpoint group is that it can be activated for a particular period of time or a particular set of users. We also use SLG1, ball save log, such kind of function module in order to capture the application log. That is generally to capture the application log when a business need to have a certain set of information or if they want to see what happened during the transaction. But this checkpoint group is having the benefits in terms of when we are testing a complex program where we come across a requirement where we have to find a value for an internal table or a value for a variables or if we want to put a breakpoint on the suspected places then this checkpoint group becomes very useful let me show you here you can see that I'm going to create a checkpoint group. So let's go and create one checkpoint group. So to create a checkpoint group, the transaction is S double A B. Click over here, press enter, and then give the name of the checkpoint group. So Z ABAP extra check. The name of the checkpoint group I am giving like this. Click on this create button and checkpoint group demo. Click on this OK button. Save as a local object. Click on this OK. Here, this particular checkpoint group has been created. Now you can see that here we are having breakpoint option. Here we are having assertions option and here we are having the log points option. First, I will show you how to use this log point, how it can be beneficial. Okay, then I will show you how to use this breakpoint and then I'm going to show you how to use the assertion. Let's start with the log point. So in order to activate the log point option over here, what we'll have to do, we have to select this log and click on this save button. When we'll click on this save button, you can see that for what time period you want to activate this log point. I just want to give the today for today only. If you want to give the end date, the last date through which this log point will be activated, you can select this option and here you can give the date. For me, just I'm going to use for today. So I'm giving this. Click on this OK button. And here you can see this option over there, users. You can activate this particular checkpoint group, this particular log point. You can activate this particular log point. You can activate for a specific feature. So by default, it is activated for me, right? And now, if you want to add some more user, what you can do, you can click on this particular button and then you can add the 
another user and you can mention for what you want to add the another user either for breakpoint or lock point or assertion all right so that's the here here like if you want to use the global activation for each user if you want to activate then just click on this ok and uh, here like uh, let me use this lock point and click on this ok you can see that for the global setting it's uh, inactive but for the lock point it's active right for the breakpoint it's inactive for the lock point it's active for this individual setting you know this log point is active here for the log but because global setting you have activated it's going to be you know do for all the user that we don't want we are not supposed to collect for all the users generally because it collects a huge amount of logs right so better let's capture the log for a specific user so that when we are going to look into the logs we'll be having less amount of logs captured over there and it will be easy for us to find right so let's go and remove this particular you know uh, settings for the global okay so just i want to remove so let me click once again and for the user it's fine yeah for the user click on this log point and this i want to actually uh remove this one so just trying to remove that click on this ok button and now maybe yeah just i have deleted so select this one and delete this one you know that will be deleted okay and now again you can see that inactive 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 it is there now click on this ok and save over here you know the today's date i have given and now now let's go to a program here i have a program over here and now in this program let's suppose you let's suppose you are getting you know and let me comment this and here also i'm going to comment now check the syntax activate this one activate this press f8 here you can see that this is the output this is a program which is giving some certain outputs okay let's suppose you uh, you, you 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 think that this particular value each you know not coming correctly right and this is a big program now you identify you just uh, get the you know chance you you, you just uh, uh, think that maybe this is the place where you know uh, this is particular internal table you want to analyze right so in the large amount of uh, uh, codes it's uh, difficult and particularly when the code is going to run in background or uh, sometimes the issue is not uh, uh, replicable consistently it is replicable intermittently in those situation this particular checkpoint group and lock point can be useful so what we'll have to do you'll have to write uh, lock point id just to want to capture the lock for that purpose and for the lock point id the name of the checkpoint group you will have to give it over here so name of the checkpoint group which just i have created this one jade abap extra check copy this and paste it over here and now you'll have to give the fields after that whatever value you want to capture suppose i want to capture this internal table i will be giving it over here full stop now just check the syntax and activate this so check it and activate this so uh, here you can see that now it's uh, uh, activated it's uh, active uh, let's run this i'm just going to run and run once again from here the transaction has been done now let us see the 
log for that particular uh, value has been captured or not for that particular internal table. So how to check that one? Again, we'll have to go to that transaction S A A B S double A B transaction. Give that checkpoint group name over here. Click on this display, and here log. You know, click on this log, and here you can see that the log has been captured. Now expand it, and here it's telling you, you know, at which particular place log has been captured, right? So at line number ninety-one and double click over there and here you can see that this particular internal table is having this particular field value and this is what you are having the value for that particular internal table one thing over here that it is showing just a few records first five records so that is fine right uh, sometimes we don't uh, require to analyze the complete internal table just we need to analyze you know, uh, few value, uh, few few variable value. So in those situation, this can be extremely helpful over here. So here now, suppose if you want to capture the uh, value, so let's go to the program, go back, and here now, suppose if you want to capture some variable. Uh, some some flag or maybe some uh, uh, variable or work area, right? So it it's going to give the complete record information. So again, log point ID and give this one, give over here and one variable, let's, I'm going to LV underscore test equals to ABAP underscore true. This day we want to capture this. Give over here, control V, full stop, control F2, control F3. And now it's activated. So now this variable value will be captured. Okay. Run this, run this. And now we can go and check about that variable value. So here again, go to the log. Sorry, this is the different one. Let me close this and here go to display mode go to the log and now let us see the second log this time uh, again it's coming right so for the same we are having this and this the two logs got captured for this here including it gross amount this is the first one and now for this come over here here you can see the two logs has been captured right so you can just see what's the value over here so it gross amount here that first few fields it's showing that's fine and here the variable value lv underscore test i have set as a flag so like that you can capture the log whenever it is required okay now here you can see that it is coming like this suppose if you want to capture the log okay suppose if you want to capture the log for a with here some heading for a, a specific user so what you can do for that purpose here you can come and where we are writing the log here you can give the sub key okay so here just you can give the sub key and for which user i'm capturing this log you know, can give the system username over here. Check the syntax and it is fine, right? And here, multiple fields also you can mention. So here you can see that one one log point here I have written. The, the, in then the single log point, you can have the, you know, you can capture the multiple variables. Check the syntax, activate this, activate this, and press F8, press once again F8, and, and now, here just to go and uh, refresh it refresh from here and you can see that this time it is coming what the username coming for this particular user the log has been captured so here this is the log and first variable and second variable in the same log i have captured you know so in in the same uh, in the same screen it is showing for the two field value 
right so this is how you can capture the log and it's going to be beneficial in the next session i will be showing you how to use the breakpoint id using the checkpoint group okay thank you very much for watching this session have a nice day bye bye